Well, when it comes to illegal items being brought across the border, the first thing that comes to mind is probably drugs. But ASU is now in possession of thousands of something else that is being trafficked illegally, insects. 12 News journalist Colleen Sakura went to look at a collection that has more and has more on what researchers are hoping to do with it. Oh, it's it's unknown what it is. It's hard to find someone more passionate about what's in these seven boxes. Oh, we're going to have to take a good look at this one. Then Professor so freaking cute. Lauren Widener. I have always loved bugs um, since I was little. I was that child running around with a bug box. Widener is now a professor of forensic entomology at ASU. Beetles are the most diverse group that we have. In those boxes. Just over 3,200. Insects, that is. That were seized while trying to be basically snuck or smuggled into the United States. I didn't even know that this was a thing. Most people don't. A lot of times when we think about wildlife trafficking, which is where this falls underneath, they think of large mammals, larger animals, reptiles, birds, uh, and they don't really think about insects being in that transport process. These bugs coming from as far away as Indonesia, Malaysia, and as close as Canada. One of the main things that kind of drives the insect uh, trafficking or trade are collectors. So having exotic big specimens, you know, in their collections displayed. You can use them for a variety of other things. Sometimes they will be transported live and people want them as exotic pets. Illegally trafficked through different avenues, like collecting them from some place you can't, like a national park, or collecting, importing, or exporting without proper permitting. Some point along that line, something didn't happen that was supposed to. And that's usually when then everything starts getting sneaky. Now Widener. These guys are big. And her team of six students at ASU are sorting and inventorying them. That's going to let us see what are the main insects that are being trafficked, because we don't really have any databases with that types of information. But also, we're going to learn where they're coming from. So is the area these insects are coming from, you know, is their habitat being destroyed? Do we need to pay more attention? And looking into what these can go for. Some of them actually came with some prices on what they'd like them to sell at. So, you know, 15 a piece. Up at the wildlife lab, they have two butterflies that combined go for about 100,000. Hoping to bring awareness to the community, create a database to understand the scope and make fact sheets for investigators and prosecutors. So they're not just going to sit in a warehouse as stored evidence from an old case. We're going to be able to do something with them. So, I mean, hopefully we'll just be able to increase that awareness and they'll have a, a purpose after, you know, this. Colleen Sakura, 12 News. All right, Colleen, thank you. Lindsay, I'm just thinking of like the trauma that that Border Patrol agent has after yes. finding some of those alive. Oh, gosh. Coming across. No, and those no, were big you. bugs. They're huge. Quite a them. price tag. Yeah, it's, re it's really fascinating. <laughs> that is fa I didn't know that existed. Yeah, neither did I.